What up, y'all? I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. Hopefully, I can get back to making some more of these videos for y'all. Uh, but the reason for this one, I just purchased. I've been driving for a couple weeks. A 2008 Range Rover Sport HSE. I tell you, man, one of the main reasons why I, why I purchased it was because um, as soon as I seen it, I just fell in love with it. And it, I knew it had problems, of course, you know, like any car is going to run into problems. So, um, But this was honestly the cleanest one that I could find. And I went on a journey. Y I was going all over the place checking out Range Rovers and other SUVs and this one won me over. I give you a backstory. Well, February 15th, I was involved in a car accident and my car was totaled. So I was without a car. So um I had a rental car for a couple weeks and um then I had to take that back. And so I was driving my wife's car around for another probably a week and a half or so. And, uh, you know, that's how I was checking out other cars and vehicles and stuff like that. Um, ran upon this and I purchased it and it came with the light on. I'll show you right now. So on the dashboard, as you can see here, it has the parking brake, which is pretty much the only issue. The engine light did come on, but, but it, um, I was doing some research and they told me to put some emissions fluid to clean out the uh, Cadillac converter and the exhaust and all that, um, which I did. Um, however, um, this parking brake, so actually that removed the light. Um, so, but this parking brake issue here, um, which is supposed to be the e-brake. Here, I'm trying to turn it on for you. There we go. Um, I did change out the switch, but it's not, it's the e-brake is not working properly. So I just thought that was something that I could fix because I knew I was going to have to fix something. So it was doable for me. Um, here's the old e-brake that I was able to exchange out and put the new one, which you see right here. Which you see right here. I was proud of myself, you know, through research and looking up different videos on YouTube, I was able to swap that out. Um, the part only cost me with a military discount, came up to like $96 and change. Um, and the label was free because I did it myself. Um, however, that did not fix the problem on the dashboard. So without further ado, that's the next adventure, man, to get that light off because I'm, you know, I'm picky like that. So. Um, but hey, um, like I say, it's fixable and I'll fix it. Overall, man, I couldn't be more pleased about this vehicle, man. I love it. It rides smooth. I mean, it's, it's a luxury vehicle slash sporty look, man, which is compliment my style, you know? So I love it, and you know, that's just a minor fix that, you know, that I could fix. And uh, I'll fix it. Like I say, I'll get that light off and I'll update you guys on the progress as well as when the light come off. Um, other than that, man, the AC works, all the power. Um, I checked, there were some fuses that were, um, that were, that were blown. So I changed out the fuses. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna check the air filter um i washed it so i don't want to work on it right now i'm gonna check the air filter sometime this week or so after it rains it's supposed to rain like wednesday or so so maybe after the rain hit it um i'm gonna check check the air filter if it needs change and i'm gonna change it i've already been looking up um parts for the e-brake um to order so um they're already in my cart i just gotta go back 
if the, you know if, if that's what the problem is i was supposed to take it to the mechanic and they were gonna um do a diagnostic on it um which was uh, what he told me it was 140 something dollars uh just for him to check the the faults and once he does that uh, if we go ahead and fix the issue that changes over to the uh, repair cost so um yeah that's where we're at right now um y'all stay tuned i appreciate y'all sticking around with me i know it's been a while i gotta get back to doing these videos for y'all man um and i gotta get back to making more content man i know y'all enjoy it if you haven't yet go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to help the algorithm on my channel as well as youtube um shout out to everybody who got the range rovers man i see y'all videos man y'all helped me so much so i want to say thank y'all for that and uh appreciate y'all rocking with me i'll see y'all on the next one Real quick, i did start the vehicle you know it's running right now you hear it's quiet man um i brought it from a um a land rover he was actual land rover technician so he did all the work himself um like all the uh repairs like he changed out the the air compressor for the suspension um he did all the brakes he did all his own 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 repairs except the oil changes that he got done at um his shop but um i'm telling you man this it, it, it sounds great ride smooth i am very pleased with it um and i'm loving it man it's comfortable the seats are man really comfortable um yeah i couldn't be more pleased man so yeah that's about it y'all um till next time i'll see you when i see you